Hello everyone. This week we will explore the anxiety disorders. We will talk about separation anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder, panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, and obsessive compulsive disorder. How common are anxiety disorders? Separation anxiety disorder is present among 4 to 10% of children and adolescents. Among US adults, the most prevalent is social anxiety disorder. 12.1 US adults have experienced social anxiety disorder some time in their life. The prevalence of adult anxiety disorders is higher in females than in males. Separation anxiety disorder. Separation anxiety is often thought of as something that only children deal with. However, adults can also be diagnosed with separation anxiety disorder. People who have separation anxiety disorder have fears about being parted from people to whom they are attached. They often worry that some sort of harm, or something untoward will happen to their attachment figures, while they are separated. This fear, leads them to avoid being separated from their attachment figures, and to avoid being alone. People with separation anxiety, may have nightmares about being separated from attachment figures, or experience physical symptoms when separation occurs or is anticipated. Selective mutism. A somewhat rare disorder, associated with anxiety, is selective mutism. Selective mutism occurs, when people fail to speak in specific social situations, despite having normal language skills. Selective mutism usually occurs before the age of 5. It is often associated with extreme shyness, fear of social embarrassment, compulsive traits, withdrawal, clinging behavior, and temper tantrums. People diagnosed with selective mutism, are often also diagnosed with other anxiety disorders. Social anxiety disorder was previously called called social phobia. People with social anxiety disorder have a general intense fear of, or anxiety toward, social or performance situations. They worry that actions or behaviors associated with their anxiety will be negatively evaluated by others, leading them to feel embarrassed. This worry often causes people with social anxiety to avoid social situations. Social anxiety disorder can manifest in a range of situations, such as within the workplace or the school environment. People with panic disorder have recurrent unexpected panic attacks. Panic attacks are sudden periods of intense fear that come on quickly and reach their peak within minutes. Attacks can occur unexpectedly or can be brought on by a trigger, such as a feared object or situation. During a panic attack, people may experience heart palpitations, a pounding heartbeat, or an accelerated heart rate, sweating, trembling or shaking, sensations of shortness of breath, smothering, or choking, feelings of impending doom, feelings of being out of control. People with panic disorder often worry about when the next attack will happen, and actively try to prevent future attacks, by avoiding places situations, or behaviors they associate with panic attacks. Worry about panic attacks, and the effort spent trying to avoid attacks, cause significant problems in various areas of the person's life. Generalized Anxiety Disorder People with generalized anxiety disorder, display excessive anxiety or worry, most days for at least six months, they worry about a number of things, such as personal health, work, social interactions, and everyday routine life circumstances. The fear and anxiety, can cause significant problems in areas of their life, such as social interaction, school, and work. Generalized anxiety disorder symptoms include feeling restless, wound up, or on edge, being easily fatigued, having difficulty concentrating, mind going blank, being irritable, having muscle tension, difficulty controlling feelings of worry, having sleep problems, such as difficulty falling or staying asleep, restlessness, or unsatisfying sleep. Obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, is a common, long-lasting disorder, characterized by uncontrollable, recurring thoughts, obsessions, that can lead people to engage in repetitive behaviors, known as compulsions. Although everyone worries or feels the need to double-check things on occasion, the symptoms associated with OCD are severe and persistent. These symptoms can cause distress, and lead to behaviors that interfere with day-to-day -day activities. People with OCD, may feel the urge to check things repeatedly, or perform routines for more than an hour each day, as a way of achieving temporary relief from anxiety. If OCD symptoms are not treated, these behaviors can disrupt work school and personal relationships and can cause feelings of distress. OCD symptoms tend to emerge in childhood, around age 10, or in young adulthood, around age 20 to 21. They often appear earlier in boys than in girls. Most people are diagnosed with OCD by the time they reach young adulthood. 